everyone welcome back to my channel this is the first cleaning video of 2024 and i'm so excited i also never got the chance to tell everyone happy new year's so happy new year everyone be sure to keep god and faith at the center of your life this year we had some guests over and being that we only have a one bedroom apartment right now this is where our guests sleep However, our lease will be up very soon and I'm praying for at least a two bedroom apartment or a home. I try my best to give the guests space when they're over and not clean around them or anything. So this is me just tidying up after guests have left and also tidying up my son's toys because he always has everything pulled out whether he plays with it or not. He likes to pull everything out. I was vacuuming my carpet and I realized that I was not doing a short, I was doing a whole video. One of my main goals this year is to get better doing shorts and get more comfortable doing shorts because most people know that when you do shorts, your phone is vertical, but when you do like videos that you're gonna post to your channel, they are horizontal. So I always put mine horizontal because I do more videos than I do shorts. Right here, I'm just de-airing <laughs> my son's little basketball goal that my dad got him for Christmas. My son did not like getting in it. I don't know if he was scared to get in it by himself or what, but when his dad or I was in there with him, he was fine. It was taking up a lot of room because it's already small here, so I decided to take it down. I literally moved my son's toys around about five times before I finally decided to keep it as it was. I don't like things cluttered in corners. I don't like it at all. It looks messy. But with us having a small apartment, we have to use every corner in our house just about, especially for his toys, if not for anything else. So I at least try to keep it organized, but at the same time, making it where he can use it and access his toys easily while also keeping it open a little bit. I decided that I was going to give these two toys away and then he literally started playing with them. So I was like, what in the world do you never play with these? But I ended up keeping them, of course. When I mop my floors, I like to mop sideways or against the grain, as some say. Then I mop in the right direction of the towel to make sure that I get every stain clean. Now this little area right here was supposed to be my creative area where I just decorated how I want to decorate it. But as a mom, I can only put stuff on the top shelf because my son, my little boy, loves taking things off the shelf and just throwing them or playing with them or eating them. So the reality is I can only decorate the top shelf and leave the other shelves empty. So I just rearranged some things and made it how I wanted it to look at the top and then just continued cleaning the rest. There was a broccoli stain on the floor and I could not get it up for nothing. So I had to sit down and be patient and scrub and get that stain up. And my sweet, sweet boy joined me and gave me kisses and cuddles. So yeah. In one of my videos, I mentioned how my floor is still sticky after using this mop because I'm not constantly cleaning the mop head. So now I just changed the top of the mop head after every other room that I mop. I'm sure I'll upgrade once we move, but our apartment is small, so this works for now. Now this right here was ridiculous. And honestly, when I'm cleaning, when I take something like out the living room and I need to place it somewhere else, I just put it up here. So it looks worse than it did when I started the video but most of it is just trash as you're gonna see. We got our son these little pads for road trips and because I noticed that he likes to draw and scribble on things, so we got him that for Christmas. But it seems like me and his dad use it more than he's ever used it. So that was just a little note from his dad telling us that he loves us and he hopes we have a good day that he left before he went to work. 
I told myself that I would start using the dishwasher all year, but so far it's been a fail. And then I was washing the dishes, posing for the camera, and the water was so hot, I burnt my hand, blowing it, thinking that it was gonna help, and it really didn't help. So then I just stared at a space until the pain went away. If you've gotten this far into the video, comment down below your favorite room to clean in your house. the middle of us being here my boyfriend would always use that coffee machine but he stopped using it and me again not liking cluttered spaces i decided to put it in the cabinet instead since he doesn't use it anymore i also forgot to mention that i did not show me cleaning my bathroom because i already cleaned my bathroom the night before so it wasn't really messy when we moved from our old apartment, I said when we get a good dining table and some comfy chairs, we're going to sit at our dining room table. And we moved and we're here and we've been here almost a year. And we probably sat here to eat about four or five times total. I definitely want to teach my son, you know, family time and sitting together and conversating and things like that. And I think that sitting at the table is really a time to bond with your family. So that is definitely something that I want to teach him early. But first, we have to be the example and start doing it ourselves. Here is me doing my almost done cleaning dance because I was so excited to be done and to relax. <laughs> cleaning is always therapeutic and peaceful to me, especially when I have my positive music playing in the background. I really enjoyed filming this video and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe.